Hello, welcome back to another episode of my channel and today I am going to share with you about my work and travel experience in United States. A little bit background and overview of my work and travel experience. First up, uh, it was done on summer 2019. I worked as a server assistant as my first job and second job is to work as a server. And the town that I work in is called Estes Park, Colorado. Estes Park is located 70 miles in the northwest of Denver City, the estimated around 113 kilometers. The topics that I'm going to cover today in terms of my work and travel experience is number one, I'm going to talk about the town, how the town is like, what it consists, job opportunities available, second jobs especially, what are the stores available, amenities. Secondly, I'm going to talk about the people and the culture. Thirdly, I'm going to share about my work experience while I, while I was there in the restaurant as a server assistant or as a server in the restaurant. Fourth, I would be sharing on what I do on my leisure time while I was in the three months of working period. Right, first thing first about the town. Essos Park itself has a really high elevation compared to Denver, even though Denver is called as a mile high city to the sea level. However, Estes Park itself brings it to a whole other level, which is 7,500 feet elevation, which is equivalent to uh, 2,300 meters from the sea level. And what makes Estes Park uh, that I need to, the attention that I need to bring to you about Estes Park is that the air of the surrounding would be thin and it would make uh, it will make you a bit hard to breathe or it will uh, it will greatly challenge your stamina if you are not a very healthy person the park itself is the hub where people can spend their night before they approach the Rocky Mountain National Park the next morning the town itself would be very crowded in the summer however winter the whole town is pretty much dead because it will be covered in snow so when I went there in the summer, uh, it was very happening. The town is always full with people. There are a lot of shops that sell souvenirs. There's a lot of people who are walking in town to get candies, to get ice cream, and also to buy souvenirs like t-shirt, hat, cap, uh, cap, um, hats, yeah, caps and hats, and also hiking stuff to assist with their helping, uh, with their hiking journey. Another important thing to highlight about Esther's Park itself is that it's a way smaller town compared to Denver. So if you are expecting going to United States to see Walmart, to see Target, to see In-N-Out Burger or Taco Bell or like whatever Mexican grill that you have heard on the, the famous social media, you are not going to see them in Estes Park. However, what Estes Park can still offer you is a good amount of shops uh, and amenities that you are that you you need to get your day-to-day -day stuff done, to get groceries, to get uh, to buy essentials, you are still okay because what we have in Estes Park there is a very I would say complete safe way. So apart from safe way, uh, we have liquor store uh, they, have, they have McDonald's, they have Starbucks, which is McDonald's and Starbucks. We can live with, basically, we can live well with just McDonald's and Starbucks. Like, you won't be starved to death. And I think one thing to be grateful is also that they have cinemas, they have theater, as well as like go-kart, and they have lakes, they have nature to offer you for your leisure stuff. So you are fine. But you won't get the city stuff that you expected it to be, like clubs. And they do have a club as well, but it's just that one club that's always active. But you are covered. And the drive itself to Denver City would take around 30 to 40 minutes least. So if you are considering to pick a job in Estes Park, it's not too near to the city. But however, it's an amazing place to me and I get myself occupied. I've met amazing people there. So about uh, the town itself, it's 
a very nature inclined uh, community. So the next thing I like to talk about is the people, the culture and the environment of the town. So uh, Essos Park itself has a, has, has a small community compared to bigger cities. However, uh, Estes Park, the people in Estes Park, they like, I would say they are more uh, nature lovers, that they love, they love their mountains, and they, they would do anything to protect their nature, they understand the ecosystem and what locals would have to do uh, living in Estes Park. Like, I, I feel like people in Estes Park are generally really nice. They have a majority of Caucasian population as well as aged people uh, who are there I think for retirement but healthy healthy retirement uh, as well as business owners of the town to keep the town alive and to uh, to make a living of the town and occasionally what you would see in town is that they would have uh, they would have flea market like an um, artisan market or they have a farmers market or Sometimes at the park, they would have country singers to perform on a schedule. So the country singer would just like set up their props on the park. And then there's also stone chairs where you can sit there to enjoy the music and to do a sing-along with Cowboy. Uh, the last time I went, he's uh, Cowboy Brad. I belong West Virginia, mountain mama. However, when it comes to summer, uh, you would see a good amount of J1 students as well working at the same place. So some would be further in, which is at uh, the YMCA's. While I think, uh, uh, while some students like me, we are placed in the Stanley Hotel or even at the shop lots in the middle of the town. So I like to encourage everyone to do your research on where is the location you are working at and to also get transportation figured out because Estes Park itself is not a town with a very complete uh, transportation system but they do have, uh, they do have tourist, tourist shuttle bus during the summer period for tourists to get into the national park easily and to avoid parking congestion in the national park. And next up, I would talk about my working experience in, ex, uh, in Estes Park. So I have two jobs during my work experience in Estes Park. First job that I get is food runner and a server assistant in the Stanley Hotel, which they have a restaurant in it. And the second job that I picked up while I was there is as a server in the Wapiti restaurant. I would describe my work experience there as very fulfilling and fun because the work never gets boring and I think that the most important aspect throughout my work is also the colleagues that I have in the kitchen and in the front and counter like they are the best people that I could ever have for the summer so during during summer the Stanley Hotel would be one of the most hectic places for visitors to visit because in Estes Park, they say that your travel experience would not be complete without a trip to the historical and also spirited Stanley Hotel, which is very much inspired, uh, which very much inspired the writing of uh, Shining, if you have seen the movie. So throughout the summer, the whole place is always in the weeds. It's always super busy, like people never stop coming and going, coming and going. And we will always feel very exhausted at the end of the day. However, the more you work, the more you will get tipped out at the end of your shift. And so I think that the tiredness is worth it to, to, uh, to work for it, to earn it. And I think one thing that's really good in working in the Stanley Hotel is also uh, they provide free meals, although the, the employee free meals are pretty shitty. Sorry, sorry, chef. However, it saves you in it saves you from paying for meals as an employee as well as the accommodation for staff is also provided at a very reasonable rate compared to the other places that you could ever look for. What usually happens at work is not only just work 
it will be a lot more exciting and more ongoing than you thought that it would be. So uh, I think what usually happens in the restaurant is where the staff would talk about Karen's that drop by into the restaurant. So like Karen pretty much means like people who make a big deal out of the fussiest little thing in the restaurant that makes the server's life hell, right? So uh, usually working in a restaurant, you would hear stories about this Karen, that Karen, and then uh, I think what usually goes around in the kitchen or in the front counter is also uh, gossips about staffs. Like this staff will talk about that staff, that staff will talk about the other staff. And also like sometimes they talk about their hobbies, of course. We are normal human, normal human beings. We talk about hobbies, we talk about what we do, we talk about our family. And occasionally you will also get people who ask you about uh, how's your home country like? Is it very different from America? And how are you coping here so far? And I think it will be a very huge advantage if you are able to speak English fluently and to talk to the locals. And I think the last thing that uh, during work experience you would need to bear in mind is to be super patient. If you met people who aren't cooperative or people who are giving you hell, because there would be times you are working with people who are not up to your expectations or people are slacking off work, which gets you extremely tired and busy. And I think it's important to be patient because uh, the servers that tipped you off during your work would be able to tell whether if you're doing a good job or not. So your hard work would pay off as long as you keep the right attitude for work and be responsible for the things that you do, you're fine, you're good. So I think a rough brief on uh, on my working experience as a server in a restaurant has also clearly given me another perspective on how becoming a server is like and the job description between a server and a server assistant, uh, how much it actually uh, creates a really healthy ecosystem in workplace. And becoming a server gives you a whole perspective on knowing how to treat your server assistant right because uh, when you work in two shoes, you understand how closely these two jobs have to work together. Although the server assistant is not handling most of the serving work, but they are a great help when the server is extremely busy. I think the whole experience of becoming a server has made me, uh, has challenged me to communicate. In terms of communication wise, it has challenged me, uh, I would say quite an amount because I would have to talk to a whole bunch of tourists and uh, American locals who are traveling in Estes Park. And it's also important to not worry so much about your accent because you will have one and you can't force them away. So I think as long as you, uh, you speak, or you're able to speak correctly, and even with an accent, it doesn't affect your job scope as long as you carry out your job okay. The next thing I'm going to share about my working work and travel experience in Estes Park is, is also what I do during my leisure time when I'm not working. So like we also went to grab uh, coffee and donuts in breakfast. Uh, we lined up for like good ass donuts in Estes Park and we grabbed coffee uh, and we just do uh, play on the machines. It's like really small stuff that that brings out the leisure part of uh, after work experiences. And that's uh, a very memorable thing to actually have throughout your working experiences. And I think the last message is to be willing to spend a little bit on leisure activities because uh, I think like those are the experiences that, uh, that stays with you and is meaningful. However, like saying no to every invitation just to save money because some people have the goal of buying uh, branded goods and whatnot or to travel more. Uh, that's up to your individual preferences as well. But to me personally, I would prefer to, uh, to cherish the time that I have with my co-workers at that time. So I wouldn't mind to spend a little sometimes for, for like leisure activities like this. 
Now we are at the ending of the sharing session. I hope that you would have an equally great experiences like I do and share with me that how your work and travel experiences went and I would like to hear more about from you as well. If you'd like to hear more content like this, just drop any comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I would share more topics that are relevant to work and travel as well as other sharing. See you soon again. Ciao ciao.